Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I often find myself needing to design either a gear or a pulley that perfectly fits the D shaft of a motor. So I thought I'd do a quick fusion tutorial showing you my approach. Here's the completed design of the pulley. And as you can see here, I've got the hole for the D shaft that perfectly fits the shaft of the motor. And so that's the kind of the part I wanna show how I approach that design. So I've got a few, I think, neat tricks there that um, you'll find helpful. Before that, let me take a few seconds just to go through how I approach the overall design here. And we'll start with that first sketch. Let me turn it the way I actually designed it in the front view. Um, I basically created this top portion of the sketch here and then I mirrored it about this line to get the bottom. And then I took this entire profile and I used my revolve tool to revolve this around. So if you can see, you've got this profile here and just revolved it to give me the shape of the pulley. Um, so that's the design approach I took. If you want to see how I approach designing this sketch here, let me know in the comments and I can do a quick tutorial on that as well. So we're going to pick up here. Let me take these last two items in my timeline, I'm gonna delete it. Actually, this sketch as well, let's delete that to roll it back here. So here what I did was I created a sketch on the top surface. So what I did here is grab a pair of digital calipers and measured the diameter of the shaft, and I'm getting a three millimeter shaft diameter. And then the next measurement I'm gonna take is going to be from the flat of the shaft to the outer diameter. And there I'm getting 2.5 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and answer that into our fusion sketch. I'm gonna hit C for circle, create a circle right at the center here. And I'm gonna make that three millimeters, to give me the diameter of the shaft. And this next part here is where I think um, you'll find really useful. So to properly place the flat of the, the D shaft. I'm gonna um, just draw a line. I'm gonna just make sure it's a horizontal line and I'm gonna grab my coincident constraint and constraint one point to the perimeter of the circle, the edge of it, and then the other point to the same. Now notice when I move this line up or down, it widens and shrinks, but it stays true to those constraints to stay coincident to the circle. So all I'm gonna do now is hit D for dimension and I want to dimension this to the top of the circle here because that's that 2.5 millimeter distance I got. But if I go ahead and place it, it's always going to take that dimension from that midpoint of the circle, from the center. You see how it's placing it there. So here's the trick. What you want to do is after you hit D for dimension, you want to right click and then choose instead of arc center here, you want to choose pick circle arc tangent. Click on that and then hover your mouse over the top here of the circle and you'll see you get a little X. Click and then bring your dimension now and set it. And here I'm gonna set 2.5. And it goes ahead and sets that dimension from the flat part to that circle uh, tangent instead of the center. All right, finish sketch and then bring that body into view. And I'm gonna just select just this profile here, E for extrude. Extrude that down to make a cut distance all click. Okay, and there we have it Now if I make this uh, the exact same size as that D shaft, you know, it's not gonna fit So what I need to do is add a little bit of clearance there. So we'll go to modify Offset face right here and I'll select um, these two faces here. I'm gonna do a negative 0.1 millimeter clearance. This will be, you know, different for different printers. You can test that and see what fits well. So go ahead and, uh, you know, might start with 0 0.1, click OK, and let's print this and see what happens. Okay, so as I'm trying to press fit this in, I'm noticing it's, it's just way too tight. I don't want to really force it in because <laughs> I've had a situation where I did that and then tried to remove the pulley and it yanked out the whole shaft on, on these little hobby motors. So you don't want to be too tight where you're really struggling to get it in there. You What you want is a nice friction fit. So instead of forcing it, what I'm going to do is open up that offset face feature. And instead of a negative 0.1 millimeter offset, I'm going to just uh, do a negative 0.15, just a 0.05 bigger clearance there. And then let's send this to the printer and see what happens. And as you can see there, just that 0.05 millimeter clearance is exactly what I needed. 
And this is what I'm looking for, just to be able to squeeze it and you, you feel the resistance in your fingers as it's going in, but you can still pull it out if you need to without ripping apart that shaft. All right, and that's it for today. I just wanted to do a quick fusion tip here. Um, I'll be doing more of these, so if you found it useful, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, you can also post it in the comments. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.